Hi everyone, it is Tammy here. I first want to say thank you all for um, the heartfelt condolences for Tiger Marcus. We know you loved him as much as we did. I will tell you, it it all the losses are hard, but some just similar to Mohan was just it just felt unfair that his time was so short here at the sanctuary. So I think the best thing we can do is to honor. Marcus is to smile by seeing his legacy Dash come out and play with his new Weeble. <laughs> there he comes. He's along the shared wall with Winona and just be thankful for all that we were able to do for Marcus and the other um, cats that came from that rescue. <laughs> Hi Dash. And then I have a few updates. So this is the Weeble. Well, the Weeble, you guys were going to buy Dash a new Weeble toy. Uh, for his uh, his birthday and the Weebles are on five month back order so he borrowed Tiger Callie's Weeble <laughs> and then we are hi sweetheart we are um, ordering some other toys with the Facebook donations you guys gave now Dash is taking after his mother Winona and loves the snow absolutely loves the snow. <laughs> um, so, you know, I look back, sorry, my shadow's in the way, but um, I look back at that rescue and I still can't believe we got through that day um, getting all the four of those cats. You know, we were contacted by the USDA who had four senior cats, um, very geriatric. They said at least two of them. And when we arrived, there was more than four. This little guy was just three hours old. Um, and Winona and Marcus were together, living together, breeding. Uh, Marcus, we've been told, had killed qu quite a few cubs in the past. And uh, once we spayed and neutered Marcus and Winona, we could tell that neither of them wanted to live together. So here at the sanctuary, we were able to give them both their each own habitat and watch them both flourish. And I will tell Marcus really touched our hearts. Dash in a way is full of joy. Marcus is just a, was a heart melting tiger. And so um, it was really, really hard to say goodbye, but we know there's sometimes there's nothing else we can do. Dash, I'm trying to get out of your sunlight. So we'll let Dash here um, <laughs> enjoy his weeble. So a lot of people ask about Dash and his wet tail. And um, for a while he, he does get it wet, but sadly, because Dash was a single cub and Dash um, didn't get to nurse his mom, he found comfort in nursing his tail. And since he didn't get another rescued cub to grow up with, he is, it's become a learned behavior where it's comforting for him. So it's very different, unlike a zoo leopard who chews his tail, Dash actually um, does not self-mutilate at all. It is not a neurotic behavior instead it's a learned comforting behavior and whenever he's napping you will find him curled up with his own tail um, sucking it like a baby and so we wish it was something we could break we've done a lot of enrichment he gets a lot of um, toys and things in his room but it is going to be kind of there his entire life unless he decides he doesn't need it anymore for comfort but um it's hard to break it once there's a learned behavior so you'll see the fur is a little skinnier on his tail um, but unlike other cats in captivity that might do it for pain or boredom dash did it because he was a lone cub and he found comfort in that. And so nothing to worry about, but you know, his imperfections make him perfect. Uh, but wanted to kind of share you share that with you. <laughs> the other thing Dash also has done on occasion, which he's gotten much better not doing, is kind of chasing his back end and his foot <sighs> when he doesn't get enough attention. <laughs> and he'll probably demonstrate that right now because um, he sees Judson over there <laughs> from afar. And so we used to always run up to him and say, Dash, quit it. But similar to your dog, he found that got him attention. So now if he does something like that, we just walk away and it has really curbed him from finding ways to get 100% of everybody's attention. Um, but I will tell you, he does not mind the minus five degree day today 
or <laughs> the cold, he and both Winona, um, Winona was just running off her big perch and chasing Judson right before this live post, loves the snow. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, uh, we wanted to honor Marcus today by um, visiting Dash. And I hate that I'm so, my, 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 my shadow's right in Dash's view, but um, uh, honoring Marcus by visiting his son Dash and uh, his former partner Winona. So a lot of people asked, is Winona gonna miss Marcus? But as many of you know, we actually separated them right when they arrived since they weren't getting along and were only forced together to breed. <laughs> and so they all live separately. Dash would love a counterpart. And uh, in the spring, we hope to introduce him to a younger tiger. Um, and we talked about even introducing him to Winona, but we know Winona definitely put Marcus in his place. She does not like living with other cats as much as she likes living alone. So um, <laughs> we will take all that information and make an informed decision for Dash come springtime. And as you can see, as Dash grows up, he is not as dependent on my attention as he used to be. He loves new toys. He loves showing off for humans. Uh, so sorry, I lost internet. Hopefully you guys are back. Sorry, it tried to reconnect. Sorry, my gloves are getting in the way a little bit of the video today, but um, Definitely, we have face masks on for our COVID protocol. We have hats and gloves today. It is sunny, but it woke up to minus 11 degrees today after about 14 inches of snow the last few days. <laughs> so it's been quite uh, the winter, really strong beginning of winter came in here. <laughs> is that good? Are you licking your toy? And be quiet and see if you can hear those spikes on his tongue licking that toy. <laughs> I'll have to tell you the Weeble is a huge success. Even though he got it knocked over in the snow, it's a little different in the snow. <laughs> it doesn't stand back up, but... Um, I can tell you that's going to be a huge, a huge hit with him when we get the bigger Weeble. Dash, you're going to keep showing off because I think we should say hi to Winona sometime today too. <laughs> so, and I apologize, I'm not talking too much about Marcus, um, but I will tell you some of them are harder than others. And for my own survival, I need to celebrate Dash because, uh, Marcus's loss was, was really, really, really hard for all of us here. Um, so I'm going to just focus on this beautiful little legacy here <laughs> and let him bring me some smiles and some healing. What are you doing? <laughs> Dasheroo! Dasheroo! What are you doing? <laughs> Is that the best toy ever? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you happy in the snow? <laughs> do you like the snow? And do you like your new toy very much, don't you? Winona, where are you? Should we go see? Winona's up on her platform. Dash will come back and see you. We're going to go see your mom, okay? Dash says, I don't care, Tammy. <laughs> I've got a new toy <laughs> and that's the best kind of independent tiger we want. Um, I just still wish he would have had siblings to grow up with. So Winona, they haven't shoveled her habitat yet because Winona loves the snow. So instead of clearing off her platforms, they're allowing her to do it on her own. 
and I think I'm gonna get stalked by her, but she loves sitting in the big piles of snow. Hi, Miss Winona. Hold on, I'm taking off a glove, so, <laughs> oops. Hmm, you gonna come see me? <laughs> what do you do? You were running down here to get Judson. Now you're uh, thinking about him. <laughs> so this is Winona, this is uh, Dash's mother. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun in the snow, isn't it? But she is so much happier living on her own. Dash along the shared wall, but she really doesn't engage with him. She really, um, she really just loves being on her own. And um, hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh, is that good? Oh, snow is so good. Look at that belly. <laughs> so um, we are just thrilled. Oh, there comes Dash along the wall. We'll see if she cares. She probably won't. <laughs> you gonna go get him? Oh, he already went away. So you can see they have a shared wall and they're able to engage. This is how um, we're able to see if cats will get along prior to a play date. It's not only fenced, but it's mesh so nobody can get their toes through and get bit. <laughs> As you guys know, Winona was rescued and had no tail. Are you showing us that? It was, uh, we were told, bit off by one of the lions on a shared wall. That's why we have mesh on our shared wall. Um, we don't want any accidents to occur, but uh, she came to us with the amputated tail and it has been no issue for her at all. Now let's see if Dash will come along the shared wall. <laughs> She's just gonna lay down in the snow. Where's Dash? Dash is back with his toy. So you can see they don't even, let's see if I can get him down here. <laughs> Dash, now he's going up on his perch. So they don't even really interact. There's not a love connection. There's not a mother uh, son connection. It's just two tigers that just like two people decide to choose who's gonna be, uh, who's gonna, they're gonna have a bond with and who they're not. And Winona really loves to be independent. <laughs> Gorgeous girl. Miss Winona, we're going to go see Dash one more time, okay? And so it's really nice to see these guys. If you're just joining us, we're honoring Marcus, who we had to say goodbye to. Um, him, like Mohan, is really unfair. Uh, Mohan the tiger we rescued to when their bodies give out due to how they've had to live in the past due to um, either injuries that didn't get repaired or seen by a vet or just harsh services. And there's no rhyme or reason. Some cats are okay because they aren't moving around too much on the harsh, harsh, harsh surface. Others, if they have declaw or degenerative joint disease, it'll make it a hundred times worse. Um, luckily, Winona, we haven't seen the extreme arthritis that we saw with Marcus. Um, when he came in. And sadly, uh, we don't know Marcus's exact age. We were told he was surrendered to the breeder when he was kept as a pet and got too big. Um, now Winona sees Dash. But I don't see Dash. <laughs> There's, hi silly. <laughs> Aren't we lucky that fence is there? <laughs> I know it's play, but play with a tiger is just as dangerous as uh, <laughs> an upset tiger. So we'll see, she's kind of stalking Dash. Dash is now up on his pool, which has been turned upside down for the season. <laughs> so if you guys worry about these cats in the snow, First of all, you know, they all have those temperature door, uh, temperature controlled buildings they can go into any time. But you can see these tigers are really enjoying rolling in the snow. <laughs> Hi, Winona. <laughs> Dash's face is covered in white snow. <laughs> Hi, Dash. Quit it. See? Go see Judson. So mom's still bad about when he's wanting attention to give it to him. 
So I had Judson stay at the other side so that if he starts doing the give me attention because you've been with Winona too long, that we can distract him. He is smarter than I am and he has taught me. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I think he's having a great time showing off. So if you just tuned in, definitely go back and watch the live post. We talked about having to say goodbye to Dash's dad, Marcus, and how hard that was. Um, we've also talked a little bit about their rescue. We talked a little bit about why Dash grew over grooms his tail. Um, <laughs> You know, every cat is different. And as much as Dash was cared for and loved at the sanctuary, he did have a deficit. He didn't grow up with a tiger mom and he didn't grow up with a sibling. And there's only so much we could do before he intervened and comforted himself and started nursing on his tail since he didn't have a mom. So he hasn't um, caused any wounds or anything like that, but you will see that there is a little bit of fur missing or it's a little shorter fur just from that behavior and hopefully when he's merged with a tiger one day that that will curb that behavior if that tiger will cuddle with him <laughs> is the big thing because dash loves to cuddle in his hammock at night <laughs> he's trying to find a way to get the green ball without going on the really small part of the perch <laughs> oh dash you're funny how long are you going to try and figure this one out there he goes. <laughs> you silly guy. Again, he can definitely bring a smile to my face when my heart is hurting. So um, I'm so glad we were able to bring him to you today too. <laughs> and again, thank you all for being there with us on the journey of the rescues like Dash and on the hard, difficult days when we have to say goodbye to a resident. Um, you know, we don't want them ever living in captivity behind fences, even here at the sanctuary. But still, our hearts hurt when we have to say goodbye. Because especially those that could have had a happier, longer life, knowing compassion, knowing a little bit of freedom in captivity, having good vet care, good nutrition, and all of the comforts that we were able, with your help, to give Marcus uh, the entire year he was here. Well, we're going to sign off today. Um, <laughs> Dash, oops. Dash, you were faster than I could be. Where's your mom? She's not going to come up and play with you? <laughs> so we're supposed to get um, minus 19 here on Saturday and minus 30 to 40 below wind chill. So, uh... The animals do just fine. They have their heated indoor areas. We have certain protocols that they have to spend the night inside when it's that, um, that uh, cold out. <laughs> and so they get extra enrichment indoors because they can get a little stir crazy like a kid that doesn't get out for recess, but it's for their safety. Um, it's the caretakers and interns here that do so much that uh, I can't believe they always have to be out in that weather, but they will do it for the cats each and every day. <laughs> Can we get one chef before I go bye-bye? <laughs> Bye, Dasharoo. Thank you for enjoying your new toy. <laughs> Let's see if we get one more run out of him or if he's just gonna go check every toy that's in his habitat. <laughs> Is Winona playing? I hear a big toy over there. <laughs> well, we'll swing by one more time to see if Winona's flying. Oh, there she is. She's up on her platform. <laughs> She's playing with the snow. <laughs> oh, that was a good run. And there goes Dash. You're going to see Dash. Dash is showing off. This is exactly what happens. Right. Every time we go say hi to your mom, you, <laughs> you need to go run around and be crazy too because 
Dash does not think any other cat at the sanctuary needs the attention. <laughs> See if he's going to stalk <laughs> Judson. Do you want to um, go down, see if he comes after you? Because he was looking at, he was wanting to stalk, but Judson wasn't doing what he wa Dash wanted him to do. <laughs> I'm used to this. <laughs> He's an easy target. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dash, for putting a smile on her face during a really hard day with hard news. I can't believe how big you are from the day we got you at three pounds on that rescue. <laughs> Very unexpected rescue, um, but one that I am forever grateful for. Thank you all very much.